Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 25, and this is war number 5. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Warlords. Alright, so we are going to scout out my path together. See what defenders they have placed along the way. As you can see, they've already gone in. Some of my alliance mates. Uh, that first node, no one's there. Then we have Mole Man, who I am wary of. I really don't like fighting Mole Man. And then we have Apocalypse. Definitely don't like fighting Apocalypse. I can do it if I need to, but prefer not to. All right. And then we've got... Okay. Whew, yeah, long shot can be annoying. We've got Guardian here. Um, this one is EMP modification. It can be annoying, especially if you like to evade and you have the dexterity mastery. That can really, really be a painful encounter. And then on my path, which is path three, I have to face this dragon man. Now, Black Widow Clairvoyant should be able to handle that dragon man. So that's what we're going to use. Hopefully, uh, we won't need anyone else. Uh, and then you've got... Vision Arcus. He can be very, very annoying as well. And I'm thinking either Warlock or maybe Black Widow Clairvoyant. She can nullify, nullify his um, power gain. And then we have Sentinel. Now, they did they choose... Let's see. Yep, they chose uh, Protect. No surprise there. Uh, so you don't want to go in there with someone that's going to hit really hard unless the person that you're using is also uh, large or extra large. Because then they could just knock them down and remove all the stacks of protection. All right. And then on Mini Boss Island, uh, yeah, that uh, Hulk Buster right there. Let me show you guys something because this caught me before. You've got Rage, right? So... Black Widow Clairvoyant can do this fight. But one thing you have to be careful of is that extend. All right. Normally, you can evade Hulk Buster's special two, the first part, and then block the next part. I don't know how to evade his special two fully. But with this extend, all of his special two is unblockable. So the way to fight him is to bait out special ones or to power control him so that you never have to deal with that special two. Uh, I got caught by that uh, when I first faced him on that node and pushed him to a special two. All right, then we've got Nick Fury. Uh, I have taken Nick Fury there. Dragon Man, that can be an annoying fight there. Uh, off to the right, we've got Sasquatch. Uh, someone will probably bring in Human Torch. Uh, same thing for that Doom. And uh, we've got Thing. That can be uh, done by uh, Nick Fury. We've got Korg on that Incinerate uh, Hazard Shift thingy. And then, of course, we have Apocalypse as the boss. And we see Apocalypse as the boss so very often. All right, so I don't see any reason not to bring in my standard team of uh, Warlock, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Nick Fury. I could also swap out uh, Nick Fury for Omega Red, but I think I'm going to stick with that team. All right, so uh, the fighting will commence in a moment, and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back, and as you can see, I'm bringing in my standard team. Uh, sometimes I may bring in uh, Omega Red, but it seems like these three for my path seems to be a good team to bring in uh, depending on who it is now they didn't put anyone on that first node but this mole man had me concerned uh, he is actually a very annoying defender and I don't have a lot of practice fighting against him so I'm looking at him and I'm thinking I'm glad they didn't place anyone on that first node but I may end up losing this fight. 
All right. You don't want to go into a fight, you know, expecting to lose. But, you know, I did have a plan and my plan was not hit into his block. I kept saying that over and over. Do not hit into his block. All right. So as you see here, I'm just letting him hit into my block, baiting out heavies going in. So uh, that seemed to be working. And then this happened right off from the start. So let me explain why that happened. What I was doing was I was trying to play him similar to other champs that purify because they don't seem to be very consistent in when they purify, you know, your stun or, or your debuff. In fact, uh, some of them seem to purify it only after you attack. And I don't think that's fair. You know, back in the day when I would fight Agent Venom, what I would do is I would parry him and then wait like just a little bit, half a second or so. And if he didn't purify it immediately, that meant he wasn't gonna purify it because it wasn't 100%. So I tried to do that with Mole Man. And as you saw, it did not work. And so now I'm sitting here going, I knew it. I knew this fight was gonna be like this, all right? But fortunately, all of his specials are very easy to evade. Now I'm firing off a special three here for two reasons. One, I run suicides, I already got wrecked early and I don't wanna hit any more recoil. And look at his power. He thought he was gonna get a special three off just there, okay? But on a special three, Warlock drains power fast. If he didn't fire off that special two, he would have had all his power drained uh, over time. All right, so it's safe to push them to a special three if you fire your special three with Warlock. And we were able to get Mole Man down. A little dicey in the beginning, but of course now my Warlock, who I was thinking of using later on, is somewhat out of commission unless I heal him up. All right, so this first mini is Apocalypse. Really didn't want to mess with Apocalypse. I would have. If my Warlock had not gotten hurt like that, I would have taken this Apocalypse. But uh, my Alliance mate took out that Apocalypse. And so now we are moving on. Now, the middle is cleared, as you see, but we are not open to Section 2 just yet. We have a fight. This Guardian. And he is on EMP modification, which is a very annoying node. Okay, just look at it. All right, so in general, what you wanna do is you wanna avoid buffs. Now, if you go into this fight with a champion like um, Red Guardian, who doesn't get buffs, beautiful for this fight. You can ignore the EMP modification. Another thing that people do is they will change their masteries and take off dexterity. That way, when you dash back, you don't get that buff, which would put these stacks on you. I did not change my masteries. And so what I'm having to do here is avoid dexing. And that's not that easy, okay? But I brought in Nick Fury because even if I mess up, I have the life model decoy ready and I have a little bit of health to play with, okay? So here, you see me trying to bait out that special and he didn't do it until I dexed. You know, I was trying to get him to fire it off, but as soon as I dexed, that's when he fired it. That's why you see that passive shock on me right now, okay? And so I'm just like, okay, we can't keep doing that. You know, if he does that, you know, we're just gonna end up with the real Nick Fury out very quickly. And that's why you see me blocking the specials rather than evading them like I normally would. Uh, because in the end, the block damage from the special is less than what I would take from all those shocks on me, okay? So I got him to fire off that other special, and so we're firing off our special three. We're in good shape. The life model decoy is still up. So even if we mess up, you know, we should be able to get Guardian down, all right? So we're just uh, blocking those specials. Very nice, we dexed by accident, but you know, we'll get that shock on us. Yep, there's the shock. And see, I'm dexing now because 
I'm just like, I want to get him down. And I still have the life model decoy up. So I just wanted to hurry up before I made a mistake. And we were able to get him down. EMP modification can be very annoying. Um, but Red Guardian or changing your masteries is a good option or anyone that doesn't get buffs. All right, so now we've got this first fight of my path in section two and it's Dragon Man and I'm concerned with fighting Dragon Man. That power gain always makes me nervous and the fact that he goes unblockable if he hits you with any special, it's just a nervous time. So I'm going in here with Black Widow Clairvoyant. Even if that had been a Colossus, I would have done that. And my plan, as you can see here, I'm not pushing to her Curse of Hellfire. Because on her special two, when she is in Curse of Plague, which she is right now, she has a little bit of power control. And that was what I was worried about the most with him. Okay, so he's got this power gain, but I can nullify it. All right, so I was able to bait out that special. We're in the corner, but we're gonna fight our way out of the corner and watch his health bar, I mean, his uh, power bar. See how um, she's managing that power a little bit. Okay, here I could easily go into another special too. Okay, but I wanted to try and bait it out. He didn't, so I just went ahead and did another special too. And as you can see, he now has less uh, than the two bars of power he had. Now, he has a protection up. That just reduces the damage. It's not completely gone. So we don't have to intercept him um, to get it down. And I was thinking of doing that right here. But he's like, oh, no, I'm going to get that special three. But we were able to bait out that special two. And then I just went in. And I'm like, okay. I'm just going to finish off with a special two. He knew it, which is why he fired his special off to try and catch me. And here we go. And we got him down. Not too bad. A little stressful, but not too bad. Had he decided not to fire off those specials, it would have been a bad time. And that's why I don't really like fighting him. But I could also have been a little bit more aggressive when he gets his power game buff. She can nullify it and we can manage it that way as well. All right, so next fight is Vision Arcus. Now, Vision Arcus, I had planned to fight with Warlock, okay? Explosive personality, we don't care, just don't hit into his block. Um, so I was thinking Warlock because he's immune to the cold snap and all of that, right? But Black Widow Clairvoyant is also an excellent choice because he doesn't get all of that crazy stuff unless he's under a power gain. And as you can see, she nullified it. Okay, so now I don't have to deal with the cold snap. I'm not getting armor broken. I'm not getting any of that stuff. So we just have to make sure, you know, when he gets that power gain like that, either bait it out or nullify it. Okay, boom. And it's nullified. We're good. We're in curse of uh, hellfire. And that's her damage mode. And ba-boom. He's down without too much difficulty. So she's an excellent option for Vision Arcus. Now, this next fight, I did not want to take this fight. Okay, this is a Sentinel. It's Protect. And I didn't feel like I had a good option for this fight currently. My Warlock is hurt, but he can do that fight. Now, as you can see here, um, there was an attempt made on Sentinel and apparently I guess they didn't have, um, the right counter for him. And you saw that, um, that first path was not touched. I'm not sure what happened. Um, but we ended up leaving those up. So as I've said before, I try to keep at least five of these on hand for emergencies, but they're so expensive and I really don't want to use them. But I went ahead and healed him up. And I'm thinking in my head, okay, I've got a few things I got to do. I've got to get my infections up. I got to keep the infections on him. And I have to do uh, medium like mediums to try to manage his uh, analysis charges. So once we have the infection up, 
You can see I'm doing medium light medium. He's not going to uh, heal as long as I'm, um, you know, got the infections up. All right, so we're doing fine here. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to get to a special two uh, because of the node. Now, I could have um, gotten an advanced power and done it that way. Uh, probably should have done that. But I fired off a special one to reset the counter. It really doesn't make a difference because I'm going to get suppressed anyway. All right. Now, here, I kind of messed up a little bit. Now, I'm sitting here trying to uh, manage so many different things, right? Uh, but what you're going to see in a little bit here, I let the infections drop off. Okay? So, I have no power now, and I'm not going to be firing any specials off at this point. Okay? So, I'm still trying to do the medium light, medium attacks uh, to manage his charges because the higher his analysis uh, charges go... The more tanky he becomes, and once he's got full analysis, it's just a nightmare fight. Okay? Now, right there, I don't know if I can do that with Warlock, but with anyone else, I'm able to do a light attack to avoid giving him too many analysis charges. But after that, I just started blocking. Okay? So we we, we got him. You know, we're, we're close. We're close. Um, I, I managed this, and then that happened. And I'm just like, wait, what just happened? Why did it not block? So I've been having issues like this, dropped inputs and everything like that. And I am at the point where I'm actually thinking about getting a new device. Uh, this device uh, I purchased in uh, 2018. Um, it, it's still working, obviously, but it may be time to get an upgrade and i'm thinking about an ipad air uh and i may in fact go ahead and do that uh, i may need some help so i might uh, start up a fund uh to get one but it may be a good investment uh going forward before i enter the abyss uh that might be a good uh thing to do all right so we were able to get him down it was an ugly sloppy fight um, I did, uh, when I mentioned that I had let him heal up, uh, that had happened earlier, uh, not later in the fight. So, uh, if you rewind, uh, rewind, I'm dating myself, right? Uh, if you go back earlier in the video, uh, you'll see where the infection dropped off and he actually healed up, uh, some, uh, and that is important because, uh, the more health he had, the more time it took. And you saw how low I got him before I, you know, had that happen to me. Had I not let him heal up, he would have been dead before that. Okay, so that's actually an important slip up on my part. And that was just, you know, something I did. Um, I wasn't paying attention and, and let them fall off. All right, but we got him down. And as you saw, the boss is already down at this point. We usually leave this node up to make the boss easier to fight if you have ghosts. Uh, so I decided to go ahead in here. Uh, Korg, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can handle Korg. Uh, and as you can see, we've got that incinerate. And so I went into Curse of Hellfire, okay? Now, I'm still going to have to deal with the poison right here, okay? So I got a lot of poisons on me, but he's almost dead. So I basically backed off a little bit here, uh, letting the poisons drop, you know, um, I hit a little bit here just to back him up because I do not want to get backed up. Um, and I'm like, okay, you know what? We should be good. There we go. We've shattered his shield. We now need to bait out a special. There we go. It's baited out. He still has his shield down. Boom, boom, boom. And we've got him down. And we were able to maintain that attack bonus. There was one attack bonus left. And we were able uh, to keep it. All right, uh, so that was all the fighting that I did uh, in this war. We'll be back in a short moment and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And unfortunately, as you can see, we lost this war. Uh, I'm not surprised. We left defenders up um, and we had a high death count. I contributed to that, as you saw. Um, but that's going to do it, guys. 
Uh, congratulations to Warlords. If we meet again, maybe we will be able to give you a better fight. But that's going to do it. Take care. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.